Okay. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Zachary Reality. We are here with Big Brother alums and Traders alums since they both have already been eliminated. Icons, legends, Janelle and Dan, we meet again. Thanks for having us. Thank you Thanks for being for here. Thanks for having us. So the, the tension brewing, I mean, I think from this situation with you guys, yeah. what are your thoughts kind of looking back at it and how you called him out? I mean, absolutely in that moment for my game, I had no choice but to call out Dan because people were coming for him. I mean, there's some choices. And he was the, the most obvious traitor. So I was like, this is like the easiest traitor to go after. What should Dan have done differently since clearly he kind of messed up a little bit? Um, he should have talked more game with me. If he told you he was a traitor, would you have I like? I knew he was a traitor. But you just. But if he like let you in a little bit more, would you have played with him longer? Yes, he needed to give me a traitor's name. Give me something like if we're working together. Like, yo, throw me a bone. Why didn't you give her any name? That's the million dollar question. Why yeah. didn't you give any name? Um, because I just thought Janelle and I were good. Like, I don't need to tell her because she knows I'm not coming after her. And it clearly underestimated her because it literally felt like Deontay like knocked the wind out of me and mm -hmm. uppercutted me. And I'm like, bro, like Janelle, like I know you're coming after me, but she like blew up my entire game everywhere. And it was Do hard you blame to her. No, I mean, it's a great move. Like yeah. same thing, like with, with Peter, it's like, that's why I play these games. Like normally I'm the one like knocking people out. Janelle started the absolute tailspin. So I give her credit. for Yeah. That. I like, mean, I didn't yeah. want to go after Dan, but I was really left with no options because I was getting banished that night. Yeah. Was there any way that you could have stayed in the game longer looking back at it? I know you're such a gamer, so like yeah. I'm kind of curious what you would have done with your strategy. So how I would have stayed, would I, I would have had to get the Bravo people. The housewives, honey. Yes, the housewives, honey. Like I, I needed like MJ and Phaedra's vote really, really bad, that banishment. Side note, wouldn't you watch Real Housewives of Minnesota? I mean, you have like the I, star right here. I watched all the housewives, all eight franchises, so there, I probably would. And there's no Midwestern one, right? There's not. No, I mean, they could do it. Would you do that? I would. I actually took a hockey mom down the other week. She came, <laughs> she came for my son and I was like, I'll freaking show you. Ooh. Yeah. So since you guys are out, what do you want to see the second half of the season? What are your predictions yeah. without giving too much away? But a little tease never hurts. Yeah, um, I'm excited to see how everyone continues for this second half of the game. Like this is the most important part if you're playing a faithful or a trader game because it's really like a numbers game. You got to like see who you're with and then like make it to the end. You know, when it's hard to make it to the end as a faithful. I know, but they might do it. I feel like they might do it this year. I'm so worried for Parvati. Of course. I mean, Parvati's in danger girl <laughs> did you bring why why didn't you just go for her i know we talked about this last it's week but don't you question. think he should have went for parvati instead of going for phaedra like that was just so out of there um what you needed to do dan was go for phaedra the day before put some seeds out there tell bergy me hey like phaedra's acting kind of weird like what do you guys think of phaedra because there were people that would we you have thought it was phaedra i didn't think it was phaedra because john and peter kept saying she, phaedra phaedra she phaedra. said one day it couldn't be a housewife there's no way and then i'm just like okay well there goes janelle like i'm not gonna but be if able dan would have told me i would have believed it so like i know you're like really into the game so don't you ever think like who are the producers gonna choose to be a traitor of course they're gonna choose one housewife of course they're gonna choose yeah. one survivor especially with Suri last year i almost felt like it was a shoe and it was going to be Parvati or Sandra just because of that kind of thought process. I think Phaedra played such an amazing game that she was able to get the scent off of her so easily with me. She would always mm. strategize with me and throw names out there for me. So every conversation I had with Phaedra, I believed her. I thought she was a faithful. Yeah. And I had already process of elimination. Tamara was a faithful. Larsa was a faithful. I really believed in my whole heart that Sheree was a faithful. Yeah, Phaedra, I mean, Phaedra. Phaedra, Phaedra made, made an incredible, played an incredible game even up to this point. Like, she's probably going to get out of this thing unscathed. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like you kind of ruined her game. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I but think it was a teaser. I just feel like Trishel is onto her now. I think. I mean, everyone was yeah. onto her before, though, that we were working with. That's just not on the show. Like, her uh, name's out there. I just think she's so well insulated. And after watching that, like, as a faithful or whoever, watching Phaedra defend herself, like, you, if you're going at her, you better have everyone at the table yeah. before you even open your mouth because she was just mm -hmm. so good at the hand to hand combat and, like, totally underestimated. A lot of people that. trust her too, Phaedra. Like, she had a lot of people mm -hmm. around her, Bravo people. And then also, like, me and Bergie trusted her so much. Don't come for the housewives, <laughs> honey. What did you think of Parvati's comment um, about the housewives glamorizing their lives and kind of acting? I mean, I knew what, where Parvati was going with it. I was like, okay, like, yes. I was, I was, yeah. I mean, I was like, okay, good for you. I didn't even notice. It's weird when you watch the show and actually experience. I don't remember 
uh, Phaedra saying that mm. to Parvati back. Parvati. I don't remember that. <laughs> um, what has been the response from Big Brother fans, like seeing you guys back together on another show? They absolutely love it. I think they love seeing me and Dan back on their TV. They're super excited. Um, I think they were excited to watch Dan play as a traitor. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, like, I always gauge like a flood of like tweets, and I mm -hmm. think some people like wanted us to work together. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, well, why didn't you work together? Because yeah. did you think about choosing her? I did, but I also felt like we're good. Like imagine like you can go in with like your sister or your cousin. I'm like, we're good. Like no matter what, like, you know, but I'm we're gonna not protect really her. good until like I'm in the inner circle. Like then we're good. Well, if you, you're a faithful and you're a traitor, you're just on different yeah. teams. So you well, wish you he would have chosen. We're you. good, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he should have chosen you. He totally should have because I would have totally been down to work with Dan. And I wouldn't have, you yeah. know, I would never. Throw one him of the, one of these days, we're gonna like. I just feel like we're, we're like friendly slash neutral, but never like at each other's throats. Mm -hmm. And I just would like to be on like Team Janelle for one show that's it like where there's like all right hey it's, it's honestly the it's the right team, <laughs> it is the right team. Yes. um okay last question um the the breakfast looks so good like yeah. i have food in my kitchen but i'm still starving yeah. like was it that good the breakfast is fab the best croissants ever mm. um so fresh every day the eggs always went really quick because that's an american breakfast the brits really don't they're not into that the scottish people they're yeah. like oh no no eggs no boiled eggs nothing yeah as i'm sure you saw i was too nervous to eat like i would yeah. maybe have a sip of water I lost and some like weight on that yeah. show which was good i lost some lbs we do you have a it's stressful do you have a traitor's tagline since you love the housewives like well, i may be undercover you know oh. like something that rhymes mm -hmm. What about a Minnesota one? Minnesota Housewives. Like this I may is the audition. look like Minnesota nice, but I've got a knife behind my back. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs>